for software and user interface okay so the Bebo y17 runs on android 9 pi with fun touch os okay which is probably the most tough uh, manufacturer made interface that i have so unlike some other brand like oppo's uh color os uh, so fun touch has a feature that makes the device more comfortable to use okay for example for a starter you can easily swipe up okay the home screen to access the shortcut center okay swipe up okay to access the shortcut center in full screen okay it houses not just your wi-fi and bluetooth packages but also the brightness okay here the brightness and the volume sliders commonly use apps and more okay so the bebo y17 has also a ultra game mode feature okay so basically it removes distracting notification and optimizes okay the system to make games run at top conditions so there's also shortcuts tab that you can easily access while you're on the game and then just like most smartphone uh the vivo y17 uses a google's own keyboard let's see okay okay like this one okay it's easy to open and type has an easy access okay uh for google search okay so the camera app is, is also intuitive to use okay and the calls contact apps gives you an easy access okay to your friends and families okay so for security okay having a fingerprint scanner and a face unlock our standard biometrics feature that a lot of devices have okay the Beeple Y17 has both of them and they both work very very well. Okay. For the camera, one of the biggest features of the Beeple Y17 is camera. Okay. This one comes with a triple camera set on the back. Okay. Here it consists of 13 megapixel primary camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide shooter, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. Okay so the image is coming out from its 30 megapixel camera okay sometimes it's large sharpness also both the colors and contrast uh, a little bit mid to care okay it's low light performance it's fine although a better aperture that what it has could have made images taking indoors or at night better okay so the quality coming out from its eight megapixel ultra wide lens is pretty much the same also i will show it to you okay let's see some camera okay again it's me okay so the quality coming out from its 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens is pretty much the same also it appears that the software is doing some software optimization which makes the images appear sharper than they normally should okay so probably uh its best benefit is the wide field of view okay you can cram in more subject or single frame or create an image with more interesting composition okay on the other hand the two megapixel deep sensor did a pretty poor job capturing in-depth information let's see wait that wasn't so deep okay okay just like an, a lot of major smartphone the bebo y17 comes with a good selfie snapper the one has sharp of 20 megapixel front facing okay this one camera it's partner with the tons of a novel features like ai face beauty and a fun video okay so as expected okay the front sensor captures a lot of detail okay 
which uh, also provides more room for its face beauty mode to work with unlike before you can enable face beauty with the image look too soft and artificial so for the battery the Bebo Y7 has a 5000 milliampere battery okay a capacity that comes standard on most smartphone before that was four years ago i think still today all oh, these days thanks to its raw resolution screen and low processor okay the device was able to churn out good battery performance okay it's quite good 